Okay, so before we get started, I want to talk to you about what shape really is, okay? Um, a lot of people think that this is a shape, but it really isn't. It is, I, it's three lines connected, we could say, or it's one continuous closed line, depending on how you draw it, but it's not a shape. It's actually a white shape with a black outline, okay? This is a shape. And it doesn't have to be black, it just can't have an outline, okay? But in this case, I'm using a black marker. So we have a black shape, okay? All right, now, if this had a purple background, you'd probably be more likely to understand that this is a white shape with a black outline. Because probably at first you were thinking, wait a minute, that there's nothing in there. But there really is something in there. It's white. Just because we're using white paper doesn't mean it's blank. Okay? All right. So a shape does not have an outline. It is a two-dimensional area without an outline. It could be solid like that, might have a design on it in some cases, okay? All right, so today we're going to locate the outlined shapes in our drawing that we made yesterday, okay? So for example, what I mean is we have something like this, this background area, and we're gonna be looking at the background shapes, okay? This area here is a shape with a black outline around it. This is a shape with a black outline around it. Same thing here, this whole thing is a background shape with a black outline around it. We could call that a background shape as well, the inside of the scissor handle, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna locate at least, we're gonna locate two shapes in our drawings, okay? <clears throat> and you're going to make them stand out by gluing cut paper on top of whatever shapes you choose, okay? So in that way, for example, there's a white triangle, that's a shape. You're going to be, where's my little example that I had for you? You're going to be identifying a shape and then making it stand out by adding glued cut paper to it. Kind of like that, okay? My paper has stripes on it. This is a shape, it's two dimensional and it has no edges, okay? I'm gonna show you in the next video how to get this done accurately, fairly accurately, okay? We're also going to be fine tuning our shapes or the outlines of our shapes, um, and I'll, you'll see that in the next video as well. 